Assalamu alaikum to all. Uh, I hope you are doing well. Welcome to another episode of tutorial. Uh, today I will show you actually um, how to create the resume uh, for your Microsoft Word assignment G2. So let's start. First I'm going to open Microsoft Word. So when I actually open to Microsoft Word, uh, I have many template to choose. Okay. Um, um, you can also come from here from uh, file new um, and this will be the window to open uh, once you go to the file new here actually you can see there are many different type of template is available you can just go to uh, click on the resume and cover letters or you can just write it actually uh, resume r-e-s-u-m-e the moment you run for resume and search there are many different uh, design you can actually uh, see the resume and you can choose whatever the design you like it okay so let's say we are going to use this resume the first version so i'll click this and i'm going to create it yes so this is the template uh, that we are going to use for our resume okay and make sure that we do not uh, destroy any of the layout or properties okay we are going to update the contents only uh, so that means uh, my biography, you know, about the, uh, my objective, I'll be updating here, my contact details, phone, uh, website, you can actually change to uh, LinkedIn if you have it, uh, okay. So you can actually use for the LinkedIn link here, a phone number, email address, uh, you know, hobbies, uh, you can update it. So here you need to update your names, uh, job titles, the current job title that you are working on, uh, education, uh, this is, uh, you just need to update the schools here from which year to which year, you know, uh, what is this, uh, the, you know, post about is this a secondary school certificate or, you know, higher secondary school certificate, uh, you know, you should use the latest education first, let's say, for example, your latest education is a diploma, use diploma. Then use older one, older one, older one. Okay, so you can actually just use two, which is more than enough. Let's say, for example, you have done diploma and you have done higher secondary school, so the diploma should be first and higher secondary should be second. If you have done bachelor degree, you can use the bachelor degree here and diploma here. Okay, uh, or if you have done, let's say, for example, HSC or A level, you can write A level here and you can actually write O level details here. Okay. Works experience, we actually have a three option here. So you can use latest company. Uh, here it should be have a company name, you know. Here should be the job title, here from when to when you started the job. And uh, just write in two line what this job all about, the role that you play. Do not add any more line. So make sure that within the two line is good enough, your description, short and sweet. Same, uh, use this previous job okay here job uh, company name and job title you can use the comma in between uh, date then add the two line of the description same this is the third previous job okay use the latest one then previous one previous one uh, you put the date times and the description here okay uh, this is the skills uh, you know sets you can actually update it but do not update it manually this is a set okay how can you update it right click do the edit edit data okay you can do the edit data or data nested so let's say edit data here you'll be able to see the same information is available here let's say for example this is a scale one i want to uh, microsoft office m-i-c-r so this is microsoft office second one let's say for example is my uh, graphic design Uh, this one might be my video editing. Uh, this one might be my um, uh, public speaking. Uh, this one might be uh, for my photography. Okay, for example. So, and if you notice, it's updating here. Later, we'll change the layout so that we can see all those dates. Uh, we can also change the graph so you know don't need to manually change let's say for example photography i'm actually good at uh, 0. Uh, 
0 0.5 so current is 50 percent so i give it 0 0.8 okay so it bar automatically will increase so here public speaking i will give maybe myself around 0 0.9 okay so then graphic design uh, i will keep myself maybe around 0 point okay so video editing maybe i'll keep myself 0 0.5 yeah, and remaining uh, Microsoft Office maybe 0 0.6. Yeah, so remaining part I'll leave it there and I'll click the props. So this is done. So I can change the design or layout. Okay, uh, there are many different type of layout is available. Okay, uh, if I want I can change it. Let's say for example I use this, so I can see all the details. Um, if I wanted to hide this, I can hide. There are many way. Okay. Let's say for example, first I will change this font to 3 and I will maybe use this uh, white color font so it's actually gone height. I can delete it if I want it to, but let's just keep it height. This layout, let's say for example, I want to change the color. Make sure all this color selected. I will right click and maybe I will change this fill color to this. Okay, blue for example. Uh, even though we don't use the blue and I will use the font color is white for example. Uh, so uh, this all updated okay so you can update your hobbies what are the hobbies let's say for example um, reading book uh, um, you can write it uh, swimming um, you can do running uh, you can add for example uh, cycling okay cycling okay so even if you wanted to do decorate this in the bullet you can also do that uh, for example i want to add this bullet uh, here because since it's same uh, design so i can just click it here in the bullet and click this bullet i like this bullet and it is too far maybe i'll move it a bit on sorry i'll maybe it a bit close so that this bullet looks like here you, I'll just move these to here okay yeah so I've added this phone number I'll add it uh, plus six five um, nine six three six four seven four zero uh, I'll add my link in the address here okay um, I'll go to my LinkedIn uh, this is uh, LinkedIn.com yeah uh, once I go to my LinkedIn I will go to my profile and this is the link okay after i click this link i'll go back to my assignment here right click and paste it okay make sure that you right click and paste okay once you're done you don't need to hasten it yes you can delete this okay and you don't need that slash also so done so this is my linkedin address email address and i'll change definitely my email address uh m n a z m u l at email.com okay i always recommend to use google gmail account please do not use the y uh, yahoo because yahoo has been hacked so many times okay so uh, it's almost done okay here uh, my name i will try to write it not copy paste n as at m -A -L -K -H -A -N. and uh, my job role is uh, cyber security architect Okay, uh, my school is uh, Mordok University. Okay, uh, I will use the date, let's say for example 2017-2019, the year that I completed, then actually I can put it this uh, Masters of Business Administration, MBA, you know, and uh, the details. Similarly, I will be adding all those details. And now many of you actually have asked this question, how to change this picture, okay? Yeah, so I'll show you how to change this picture. First of all, you double click that picture or right click and go to the format shape. The moment you click the format shape again, how do you do that? Click, right click and go to the format shape. This is the window, it will be appear on the format shape. First, you click on the fill. This, the first one is the fill. And the moment you click the fill, you click the fill here, okay? So this is a picture, it was taken from the picture. You can see that the default has been selected picture okay so what i want to do i want to replace this picture and make sure the picture that i select it has to be height and wide same okay just remember the picture if not it looks very bad i'll show you 
let's say for example I go to the file and uh, I go to the download now if I use a vertical picture or okay, let's say for example this picture what is going to happen the moment you see it you see it's a squeeze I will never use that I need to make sure that picture size is vertical and horizontal same okay how do I know that it's vertical same so let me go back file if you go under the you know wherever you kept the file okay for example earlier I did it this is definitely not the same you can see that when I use click uh, put the mouse pointer on top it shows that 1593 by 2768 so it's not the same I need the same like a square shape so I'll go uh, maybe this picture now for biography picture 600 by 600 I can also right click and edit it just to confirm here I can see 600 by 600 if it's too big I can actually uh, make it here expand it here I can also reduce it here okay so I need this picture 600 by 600 before I insert so it's done I save it close it then I go here again 600 by 600 my picture this and I'll insert it the moment I insert it fit very well okay so this is why height and weight must be a square shape picture that before you add it how did I do that select this picture go to the fill here is the fill color click the fill here go to the picture click the files and select the file that is 600 by 600 okay once you click it this is done okay so uh, I think that's all uh, so uh, switch you wanted to update this uh, you know uh, profile you can update it from wherever you have it let's say for example I have this uh, another CV I'll just right click copy and when I go here I'll what I will do it actually I will select this and right click I will not use this one rather I will use these keep text only okay when I do the keep text only it will maintain the format okay it will maintain the format and it will not uh, destroy anything okay I will purposely do that okay so that at least uh, it will look format okay you can increase the you know uh, some more here in terms of your uh, uh, I mean the biography but I, I would like to keep it short and sweet so I will just keep it like this uh, that's all okay I don't want to increase it too big okay then I still have here some space so it looks odd if I don't fill up this so what I will do it I will copy this hobby I will take another paragraph here yeah so maybe here uh, I will use my certification for example huh? uh, you can put certification you can actually put training let's say I have many IT certification first of all I'm a cyber security specialist CISSP uh, I will use um, security and intelligence certification that I have done is SIEN then I have done my certified ethical hacker CEI and I have done my uh, MCSA, uh, I have done my uh, AWS, Arctic, I have done my, yeah, so that's all, I'll just keep it, that's all, okay, so uh, this is the part, uh, again the education, I believe, jobs, all those, you can update it. But let me just show you how to update. Let's say this is for example my own company, CTC Global Singapore PTE LTT. Okay, that's my company, and I'm a cyber security architect. Okay, when did I join this company? Um, I think it's uh, May. 2022 till now definitely a uh, hard job will be till now then you can just write you know short description about job what exactly you do in this role okay um, I play a role of these 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 but make sure it does not go beyond I uh, mean the beyond two lines similarly you can actually put it here regional service director sorry this should be the company name okay and 
this is my job title and when did I join? I joined November 2006 until uh, May 2022 okay six years I work for them so I can actually add two line of the description based on the role similarly this one I work for Health Telecom and uh, I was there as a customer service manager Okay. Yeah. So then, uh, you know, I joined them July two zero zero. Sorry, two zero one five until November two zero one six, for example. So, and I will just write two line of the description, and my job, my project is done. So once that's all, okay, I will save this file. File save as and I will save this file as a maybe a download folder for example and I will write this is assignment 2 assignment 02 I will put my name and then I will put the this is CV that will come okay if I want I can even put the version 1.0 okay but I uh, will leave it like this okay even if I wanted to put the date of the CV easily this is the practice best practice Whenever you update the CV, make sure you add the date at the end. So today is 19 February 2023. So that whenever you submit this CV to somebody else, this is specifically for the CV, you make sure that that is there. So that people know this CV was been updated on this. So save, done. So now I'll actually go to assignment full, uh, you know, assignment uh, URL, tiny URL. Uh, this is the link many of you ask me what is the link so tinyurl.com slash 24 asia submit that is our assignment link okay once i go here i'll populate my email address i'll put my full name it should be my full name as per my certificate m o h a m m r e so this is my full name as per the certificate so i will write that and the whatsapp number 9636474740 uh, the course i will be choosing microsoft office number two for word excel powerpoint all of your assignment you must choose this one yeah the, add the file where i kept this file okay remember you can add multiple file i highly recommend all of you to do your all the four assignment keep it in hard disk once all the four assignment is ready then you go and upload it here okay do not do one by one make sure all four you have done it save your computer go upload and upload all together one by one okay so you don't need to submit multiple times so i'll go browse where is my document is here okay and once i done i'll be writing here what is this document all about this is my assignment uh, 01 uh, cv nazmokan okay or uh, I can put the uh, you know update a CV. Yeah. So and once done, I will just click submit, and that's all that you need to do for as part of the assignment. I hope this video was uh, useful to you, and uh, you know if you like this video, please uh, comments below in the video on the YouTube. You can also subscribe and share with your friends. Yeah. So looking forward to see you on the next class. Thank you. Bye.